Hey guys, this is Vijay. So today we are going to talk about that, how we can configure HSRP and uh, other uh, protocols such as VARP. What is the HS VARP and the VARP in the Arista switches? And HSRP is, as you know, that this is for the high availability or the redundancy of the uh, uh, configuration and providing the, you know, uh, a virtual IP address for any uh, in host, we configure that HSRP between the two devices, right? Mm -hmm. If you have two devices, you configure that those devices with the uh, one protocol, either HSRP, VRRP, or FHRP, any protocol you can use that. The second option which Arista has is VR. We, VRP is a uh, concept where Arista use for the in-band traffic, okay? If you want to configure the virtual IP address without having a uh, uh, any HSRP and VRRP protocol, we have a, a, a configuration uh, as a VR, VRR, which we configure as a virtual router. The any of the two devices can be configured as a virtual router, and those router can generate that uh, IP address using the SVI and using that uh, virtual MAC address and virtual IP address. You can start the communication between the end host to the uh, router or the switches yeah the only limitation of this one is uh, you cannot have a you know uh this uh, v the the vr does not provide you the outbound traffic solution if you're having a, a traffic function such as requirement for the arp and the request for the configuration so this uh virtual mac and ip I resolve that traffic for the incoming pa packets not used for the uh, source field for the uh, of the uh, outgoing packet okay so total uh, how many we can create we can create that we are around uh, 500 ip address whereas uh, where rp group is around for, uh, 256 week which we can create in the arista devices so, so we this is the scenario this is the lab i have where i have uh, you know M lag running between the L1 and L2, L3, L4, and M lag is also running between the spine one and spine two with the port channel 10. So if I log into the spine one and spine two and show the configuration here, if I say so VLAN, so I have a, a couple of VLAN over here. So VLAN 4096 is running the M lag. If I say the so M lag details, so M lag detail. So this is the uh, the secondary switch I have, and the peer switch is a uh, which is a spine two is my the primary and black switch. Yeah. Okay. So this is the state of the devices. If I go to the you know uh, configuration point of view, how we can configure the uh, HSRP VRRP. So in order to configure the HSRP, HSRP command is very simple, just like uh, the traditional way of configuring the HSRP and VRRP. You just have to create that SVI and you have to create that uh, uh, virtual IP address and uh, all the configuration you have to do. It's similar way, uh, but for the uh, VR, you don't need to create that those kind of configuration. For the VR, is state for, but you just create that SVI and assign the virtual IP address. Now, if I go to the... Uh, you know, configuration point of view and how we and how we should be configuring that VRRP and HSRP here. Let me uh, do that first. Uh, uh, VR configuration. So VR configuration is like we have a host which is uh, you know sitting over here, which we call that host uh, having a two hundred VLAN. Okay, and that IP address is ten dot twenty dot twenty dot one. This is the uh, you know host IP address and the gateway of this IP you want to keep here. So here I have I'm going to create VLAN 200 and without HSRP I'm going to run the virtual router over here. Okay, so I will create the one is you know logical virtual router here, which is your SVI, and we will form that we will generate one uh, virtual IP address with the virtual MAC address. Okay, virtual IP address, virtual MAC address. So when this host try to ping here, it can ping the virtual IP address rather than using the physical interface for the communication. Okay, so let me uh, quickly configure this uh, configuration. Uh, just give me a second. Let me log into this. So if I go to the spine switch one, the spine switch one, I will consider config T VLAN 200. 
okay i will say that ip address uh, 10.20.20. Uh, for example dot 2 slash slash can be uh, 2045 2830 anything you want to use so ip address and dot twenty dot twenty dot two slash twenty four. Why? Oh, sorry. Interface VLAN not VLAN. Interface VLAN two hundred. IP address. If I say that ten dot twenty dot twenty dot two dot uh, two slash twenty four. Okay. If I say that IP virtual router address. I want to keep the virtual IP address 10.20.20.1. That's it. Along with this here, you have to give the virtual MAC address also. That virtual MAC address will be globally for the uh, configuration of this, providing the a source for the incoming traffic. So if you're, uh, you know, some host try to ping your virtual IP address, it makes sure that it has a destination IP address. It cannot use the uh, SBI IP address or physical IP address for the uh, uh, the the ping which is just coming right. So if I say the IP virtual router MAC address, I will say that zero 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 one dot zero 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 two dot zero 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 three dot four. Sorry. Here, bit. Okay, done. So if I go to the same to the uh, switch number uh, two, we here we have. Sorry, this is the spine two also. This is spine two. Let me log into the spine one also. If I go to the uh, config T interface, sorry, let's create the VLAN 200. Then I can create the interface VLAN 200. Okay, then I can configure the IP address uh, 10.20.20.3.24. I can create the IP virtual router, virtual router, uh, which is again an uh, address 10.20.20.1. Then I will create the virtual MAC address. Virtual MAC address should be the same in the both the devices, otherwise they will not be uh, responding to the app uh, uh, it will create that issue also if the same ip address having a two different mac address so if i go to the here HTT, this is the mac address it has oh sorry i think three i have missed that oh, three okay so i have configured this uh, configuration and uh, we can also you know verify that using uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, you know uh, command from the uh, host. So what I will do here is I will create that VLAN 200 over here on these switches. Okay. And I will create VLAN 200, 200 here and I will create the 200 host on the this particular host one also 200 VLAN IP address. Mm -hmm. I will create that rather I cannot create it over here because I don't have here. If I say that config T VLAN 200 exit on the same uh, configuration on the switch to also. But if I go to the host, if I say this, so CDP neighbor, so then, so if I give that interface, uh, interface port channel one, IP address, uh, if I say that uh, 10 dot 20 dot 20 dot uh, four slash 24, same subnet, and if I, Try to ping dot one, okay? Ping ten dot twenty dot twenty dot one, and let's see how it behaves. The device currently is not responding because these VLANs might not be allowed on the between the switches. So let me see that if the VLANs are allowed. VLAN two hundred exit. If I go to the switch one, so run. Uh, the VLAN 12, I need VLAN 200, I need to allow on this particular port channel, interface port channel four. I will say that uh, switch port access VLAN 200. Okay, same thing if I go to the my interface. It's fine. Now, if I try to ping that, 
I should be able to ping to the my uh, gateway, which is the on the spines, which we look here. So if I go to the spines, which if I say that, so IPR, so IPR, I should be getting that IP address from the uh, one of the host. Look here, coming from port channel number two, which is running between the here. Okay. Now, if you want to run the HSRP, okay, for the HSRP, it's a state forward. You just, uh, you know, I want to, I will create that. Uh, this is for 200 I created. Okay. 200 I created for the virtual IP. And uh, we are for the HSRP configuration. I will create that uh, the simple state forward group configuration, uh, not HSRP, VRRP. VRRP here. VRRP. Okay. And here we have done here is, sorry, here which I have done is VR. Okay, we are, you can see that you can see the different, different, uh, you know, virtual router address, uh, different, different parameters you can call it. So I will call that this as a VR virtual router. Okay, we are, which I have done that. Uh, let's create that VLAN 300 over here, uh, VLAN, 3, VLAN 300 and configure the VRRP between them. Okay, between the spine and the spine two. And we will ping that from the switch three or four. We will try to reach that gateway to the, uh, from here. VLAN 300, uh, VLAN 200, yeah, like this. Okay, so if I go to the, uh, my switches, and let me configure that VRRP on the device, and which is straight forward, you don't have to do uh, too many things. So if I go to the config P, VLAN 300, okay, between the spine one and spine two, this port channel number 10 is already, you know, uh, uh, trunk. That's the reason I am not configuring the So VLAN, this VLAN must be allowed on the port channel number 10. Look here, VLAN 300. VLAN 10, 12, 34, which is again uh, 10, 34, 12, here is all uh, between the switches. So once you create that, everywhere should be allowed all the configuration. Okay. So if I go to the switch number two also, config T VLAN 300. And what I will do here is I will just create that uh, configuration. I will say that uh, interface VLAN 200, 300, IP address, I will assign that 20.1.1.2 uh, slash 24, for example. Okay. Then I will say that no VRP 10. Okay, then I will say that we are RP. Uh, then priority, I'm going to give priority, uh, priority label, just priority. Uh, priority label is around, I will give the 200 for the switch spine one. Then I will say that we are RP, I want to advertise my internal is around three seconds. Okay. We are RP, we are RP, IP address is uh, IP before, we are RP 10, then I will say IP before, not IP address, then I will say that 20 dot uh, 1 dot 1 dot 1, done. Same thing, what I will do here is I will go to the spine switch, and I will configure the interface VLAN 300, IP address at 20 dot 1 dot 1 dot uh, Three slash twenty four. Then I will say that no we are RP if there is any we are RP configuration in my box. We are RP ten priority level. Uh, I will say that uh, I do not need to configure that priority level because I have already configured that priority in other side. So you do not need to configure both the side to make the primary and secondary. Um, okay. So I will say we are RP ten. Advertise internal interval three. I will say the VRRP uh, ten IP address is uh, twenty dot one dot one dot one. Okay, sorry, VRRP ten IPv four IPv four. Um, I will say ten dot one dot one dot one. Okay, so if I say, check here, so we are we are RP. There is a lot of command, all a brief, 
you can check here look here i have two groups which is okay i have we are, we are happy time this is saying that this is the backup one because it has a lowest uh, priority is 100. Now, if I go to the switch number one, it's point number one. If I say the so, we are RP brief. So this is the master one. The master one is fine one because the, 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 I, the priority is higher than the other switch. Okay. So if I uh, go here and check here, so we are RP summary. So we are RP. There is a command called that um, interface. Interface 300, interface VLAN 300. So you will get that all the detail of it, what the all the configuration it has, interval priorities, master priority and local priority, all these things you can have. However, uh, let me, if I try to ping from, you know, particular box, if I go to the, you know, switch number three and four and create that VLAN 300 and create one SBI and try to ping that and whether I'm able to ping or not, let's see that. So if I go to country P, uh, VLAN 300, which is mandatory for any devices to allow that. Uh, switch number four, if I have. It's uh, very slow sometime. Okay, country T, VLAN 300, because this configuration must be allowed, so VLAN on the, all the ports. So if I say the VLAN 300 is not allowed on this port number 34 because the, the switch having some issue. So I will rather create the VLAN 300 on the switch number one and two itself rather than creating a three and four, right? Uh, to simplify the things. I will say that VLAN 300 where I had 200. If I said so, VLAN, it should be allowed on the, all the ports now. Perfect, 10 and 12, which is 10 is towards the between the switches, 12 is towards the spine switches. Uh, if I go to the uh, leaf number two, I will again create that VLAN 300, VLAN 300. Okay, then I will assign this host. I will assign this host IP address of, uh, uh, what was the HSRP IP address, okay, which is around uh, uh, 20 dot sub. Okay, so if I go to the switch number one, I need to interface port channel four, which I have switch so port node access VLAN 300, okay, between the, towards the host, then I will say that uh, interface port channel number one, IP address 20.1.1.5 slash 24. Ping, if I say that 20.1.1.1, it is able to ping that. Virtual IP address of the uh, spine one is spine two. If I say that, so IPR and the MAC address also, you will see that uh, uh, the 20 dot subnet must be uh, here somewhere should be showing. So IPR, uh, so MAC address also, look at, this is showing that because this is a line that, sorry, this one. Okay, coming from board channel number 12, which is towards to this one. Now, same thing uh, uh, we can do for the other protocol also, but uh, this session is only for the, uh, you know, it's just our uh, VRRP and VR, which is the most used, you know, uh, uh, protocols in the data center. Yeah. Uh, we'll be covering a lot of other uh, advanced uh, configuration and the routing and the VXLAN with the HSRP and the VR uh, in the in upcoming session. Uh, thanks for watching. If you do like the video, if it is helpful, please do subscribe and like the uh, the, the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in next session.